welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good uh, if you're new here thank you so much for popping by and clicking on this video my name is lauren i post videos wednesdays and sundays fashion food bargains we like it all on this channel and if you're returning thank you so much for clicking on this video i love you guys so i'm uh, feeling very handsy today tesco haul popped into tesco thought i'd have a quick look around because last time they were really doing bits with their fashion not loads in this time, but I did manage to pick up a few bits that I think are really, really cool and giving me, obviously, Zara vibes because is that what every single other clothing place is trying to do at the moment? Yes, it is. They're trying to recreate Zara. Also, just before we start, if I'm very croaky, not really sure why, don't really have a cough, but if that's annoying for you, I'm very sorry. Apologies. I'm going to try my best to be as least croaky as possible. So yeah, let's get straight on into this haul. Okay, so one of the first things I saw when I went in was a, I would say probably maxi dress, maybe a midi on me. I'm not sure, obviously it depends on your height. If you are new here, I am 5'11 and a 14 to 16. I'm smaller on the top half and then I've got bigger hips and a bigger bottom half. So just a little size guide there for you. Obviously this is black and guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is correct. I did pick this up in a size 12. Hear me out. One, I wanted to show you the actual dress because I think it's really nice. And two, I'm hoping it's really stretchy. So fingers crossed we might actually be able to fit in this. And it's really simply just this v-neck black knitted dress. Obviously, I know black's hard to see, but you can see it there. It's buttoned all the way down. I think they're fake. Yeah, fake buttons not real and then it's also got a tight waist but it goes all the way down obviously you'll be able to see this better when it's a try on haul and then it's like a frilled edge at the bottom i just thought for summer how easy is that throw that on with some sandals or trainers in my case you guys know i love a trainer this on its own may be too girly for me unless i'm on holiday so i'll probably throw on a trainer nice gold jewelry and you can just never go wrong with a black dress it feels like oh it's got loads of fluff on it so great it feels like it's going to be, well, look at that, really stretchy. The only problem is, if it's going to be that stretchy, is it going to be see-through? You guys know that could be an issue, but we'll see when we try it on. This was £18, and like I said, I went in a 12, so fingers crossed we can get into that, guys. We're going to find out right now. Okay, Lauren, in a size 12. Okay, honey. Yeah, you know it. Guys, if you want to buy this dress... Size down. You can size down. There's so much stretch in here. It's one of them. I probably could have even got a 10. We have a little bit of looseness here because, you know, this area is not huge. But let me just come in so you can see the detail. And then we've obviously got that tie, which really does make the waist look fantastic. But really soft. Guys, I've got so much room Oh, wow, black sock style in there. You definitely could size down one or even two sizes because you know me, I've got a big hip and a big leg and there's no restriction here at all. Like I said, there's a bit of space here, but I don't mind that at all. Let me just pan you down so you can see the length on me. On me, it goes to the shin. On you guys, it might be more of a maxi if you're smaller than me, but look at that bottom. Like I said, look, it's one of those really, really stretchy dresses. You're not going to have a problem walking because you've got all that space. But because it's elastic, it just goes back. Nice on the bum. Are we going to be see-through? Can't actually see that, so we'll find out when I edit this video. But really, really easy. Throw this on with a denim jacket, a leather jacket. You could even wear this in like the winter with like a long sleeve underneath with tights and boots. Or bare legs because there's not that much leg there omg honeys this is making me look fantastic and i'm not mad of it the v-neck looks really nice a bit of space there but you know me i don't mind a little space under the armpits very happy about this dress i'll be keeping it size down skims because you've got a little belt detail covers a little bit Sticking my belly out there, can you tell? No. Love this dress. 
Next thing I picked up, again, this is what really screamed Zara to me. This and a couple of other pieces, but this is a little play suit. And play suits are not something I actually pick up often because I find that the legs are too short. So again, this is what could possibly happen with this. But I thought I'll take it anyway because I thought it was really cool. I'm debating whether I should have got a bigger size. I got this in a 14. It's got an elasticated waist, but it's not like overly elasticated. And it is this, and it's like a beigey, creamy, nudie colour. Wow. If you come here for descriptions, sorry. And then it's got a wrap over detail there with a bow. That doesn't actually come apart, so you are safe there. You tie it up, and then it just drops very simply. Can I get it any higher? Just about into a pair of wide leg shorts. That's where I'm having the trouble thinking maybe I should have got a 16. I'm not sure how wide leg and loose they're gonna be on me, but we will find out. We've just got like a little cap sleeve and then the back has just got one of those really annoying buttons that I absolutely hate, but you know, for the fashion we can, we can deal with it. So I thought that really Zara, no? Again, sandals or trainers if you're a bit like me and you can't be that girly because you feel quite awkward about it. No pockets is the only thing I'm gonna say. Bit gutted about that because we all need a pocket. But I'm hoping it's gonna look cute. We'll see. Uh, it's about out of my comfort zone, but that's what we're doing this summer on my channel. We're just going for it and hoping for the best. I got this in a 16, I didn't. I got this in a 14 and it was 20 pounds. So hopefully that looks good. Okay, so length, actually not too bad at all on this. So if you are taller, don't worry. And if you're smaller, you can always roll, maybe. Um, hmm. Love the neckline. So this, when you tie it, let me just show you. This bit is attached to the elastic there. So obviously you make it as tight as you want. I actually like this. Not sure it's doing much for my shape, even though it does pull in there. I have got quite a bit of excess fabric here. But if I move my arms, like... If I need to reach something, and it's not really, oh gosh, like this here is doing me no favours, like I understand it's meant to be floaty and stuff, but top half lovely. If this was a top, then how cute, and I absolutely don't hate it at all, and again, on somebody else, this is going to look great. This is just one of those holes, isn't it? Could just tell. Don't hate it, gonna look great on someone else. It really is. It really is. Nice and floaty, perfect for the summer. But as soon as you move your arms, obviously, if you don't mind it going right up the bum there, then it's gonna be for you. Oh, God. And then if you thought that was out of my comfort zone, well then, you're in for a real treat here, honeys, because, well, exactly. I picked up this long, maxi, white, girly dress. I thought it was really cute. They had it in orange as well, but I thought this is probably a little bit more like easy to wear when you're not used to wearing like really mm, girly maxi dresses. I thought it was really cute. I really like the square neckline and then of course these just sit on your shoulder with a bit of a puff sleeve. If you can see this is the kind of material. It's kind of like a check. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see on there because I can't see. Hello. Um, not sure if you can see on there. We've then just got the band and then it just drops down into like those tiered frill things. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You'll be able to see this on does it have a lining? It does look like it's lined, but I feel like with white, it could be an issue. I would probably just put some white cycle shorts on underneath, to be honest. But it feels really nice and loose, and I thought that with a pair of Converse and a denim jacket would be cool. Or just some flip-flops, some sliders. I'm going to try it. Anyway, I got this in a 14, and it was £22. Nice. How do people make this look good? Because I literally just looked out. Li I literally just looked like I rolled out of bed in the 1950s or something. Look, we tried. We tried, okay? I'm going to stand up and show you now. But it's going to have to be a no from me. 
How do people make these dresses look good? There is a slip in it, but you still definitely have to wear light underwear, obviously, for the purpose of this video. I didn't change it, and you can definitely see. So, I would wear... That neckline is absolutely doing nothing for me. Nothing at all. I feel like... Love the length. Length's actually really nice of me. Can't lie. Really nice and floaty again with a trainer. Not mad at it. Love this half. Not if I don't. I don't know. I feel like I should be in the sound of music or something. Everyone makes this look so good. Why does it look rubbish on me? Like, look at that top half. No, look at it. Come on. That's creepy. Would you like a hot drink? Yeah, please. Anyway, yeah, it's it's not working, unfortunately. I love these dresses on other people, and I, don't get me wrong, I think they look stunning, but on me, it's just, it's just not working. We tried. It failed, but we tried. And then I picked up some bottoms, not many, but, you know, there was a few pieces in there. The first thing I picked up were these black ribbed wide leg trousers. I mean... I've got a pair of these from Primark and I wear them constantly. So if I can get another pair and they fit nicely, then I'm going to be really happy. The ones from Primark are like a flare leg. These are just like a wide leg and they're that ribbed material. Again, I'm hoping not see-through, fingers crossed. I picked these up in a 14. My waist is quite small, so I probably could have got away with a 12 on the, on the waist. But for the rest of the leg, I just thought... Better be safe than sorry, get a 14. If they're a bit loose, that's fine. We can eat better. And then they literally just drop down. I'm doing a rubbish job of showing you. You'll see on the try-on, but up close, you can see that it's that ribbed material. These were £14. Another thing is length. Because I'm so tall, length is always an issue. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll fit. They're nice and soft. And those just with a t-shirt with a strappy top like this. So easy in summer, but you can also dress them up. So if they are long enough, probably not on me. You could wear them with heels, a nice bodysuit, still be really comfy, but look really classy because I think a wide leg trouser is always a good option. Here are the black wide leg pants. And guys, these are so soft. They're like velvety. I don't know. Anyway, really nice fit. Of course, you can't really see. Let me, one sec. Let me get my white belly out. So, they are a little bit loose here, but I did get a 14, but nothing that's going to fall down or anything like that. They skim really nicely, make the bum look good, so thank you very much. Fit lovely on the leg, really nice and wide, but again, I left a shoe on to show you and explain. The problem I'm having, I don't know if you can see it at this angle, I'm so sorry about everything else in this video. My filming setup is rubbish right now. I don't know if you can see, but it just hits too high i would need them to be a couple of inches longer but i just know i'm not gonna pick these out my wardrobe because they sit literally at the top of my shoe you see that they sit on my ankle which is such a shame because their fit is so nice they're so nice and soft they fit lovely on the leg if you're between sizes go for your bigger size because it's elasticated you're going to be fine bum looks absolutely fantastic if i do say so myself <sighs> why am i so tall honestly because these are a yes from me i think they also had these in a different color but again it's the length oh it's so annoying 100 percent recommend these if you are smaller than me which is not hard 100 percent recommend gutted because how good does it just look with a black a black strappy top and then Throw Converse on. I'm gutted. I am gutted. These I'm really excited about because I have seen a pair of these, I think, on Pretty Little Thing on I Saw It First. Don't know if Zara's doing something like this. I'm really sorry also if the light keeps going funny. I keep noticing that it's changing, so I'm very sorry about that. 
actually where I have to film is at the back of the house and the light comes to the front of the house so we actually just have to deal with what light comes through the window so I'm really sorry if that is annoying to anyone it's really annoying to me but unfortunately I have nowhere else to film right now so I'm just trying to make it work so I hope that's not bothering you too much and it's these linen trousers and it's the beige and the white stripe that is very much in right now and who doesn't love a linen trouser in the summer so these are drawstring at the top I picked these up in a 16 because I find sometimes when I get stuff from Tesco even though it's like stretchy there if it's not stretchy everywhere else 14 sometimes come up a little bit small so I picked up the 16 and I thought we could try these and see how it goes I'd rather linen and stuff like that be a bit loose anyway I don't want it skin tight because it shows everything I don't want anyone to be seeing so yeah this these could be a bit see-through obviously I would wear light coloured underwear under these they've got two pockets on the back with like contrasting stripe which I don't know how I feel about that I'd rather I don't know I'd rather they just kept it the way it was they do have pockets on the front as well so love that for us again with the length I'm not sure if these are going to be like a bit of a crop length on me but the pattern was dead cool and I thought £14, around the same as Pretty Little Thing and stuff, or lower. I'm not, I don't know. We were going to try them. These with this, with a white one, with a white bodysuit and Air Force. That's a bit of me. Or with a black one like this and some black sandals. Again, you guys know that's literally what I say to pair with everything. Air Force and Converse, my best worn trainers, my most worn trainers. You just can't go wrong with them. If you are looking to invest in a pair of trainers, I would highly recommend a pair of Black Converse and a, a pair of Air Force, and you'll never need anything else. Okay, so here are the striped trousers. Huge on the waist, and this isn't actually a real drawstring, so that's great. They just sit really low. Um, I'm glad I got the 16 for the leg, because I definitely would have not enjoyed the 14 they definitely would have been tight if these actually sat where they are the actual trouser is really quite nice i'll put you down a little bit so you can see but because of the size like they're just absolutely doing nothing for me whatsoever but the actual trouser again is nice it's just the sizing that is an issue whoa chill out lads Again, also, the length hits me at really awkward ankle grazer, but because they're so big, they're just sitting funny. I feel like the supermarkets are doing really well with, like, the fashion and stuff, but their sizing is just... Maybe that's just me. Let me know down in the comments if you find that it's just me, or do you find that as well? I know I'm, like not abnormally tall but I'm a tall girl so I understand that but it's just so annoying especially the waist to leg hip ratio is just but anyway yeah these aren't gonna work unfortunately but the pattern is nice so if you have a little bit more well less height these are gonna look great on someone just not me and then the last thing I picked up were another wide leg pair of trousers but these are a bit more like officey vibes which are very in right now i love a wide leg trouser with a nice top or just with a plain bodysuit i think it looks so cool with trainers there she is again with the trainers i really appreciate like a trouser but when i'm trying to find like a, a tailored wide leg trouser they're either too tight and then i go up a size and they're too baggy on the crotch they don't fit my leg or they just stick to the back of my leg so it's just it's just not a vibe i picked these up in a 14 and again i'm debating should i have gone for a 16 but they're these lovely wide leg trousers they do have an elasticated back but i'm thinking have i made a mistake with the leg size and i should have gone for a bigger leg because i think i should have we'll try them on nevertheless so they've just got this lovely button at the front and then a zip there and they are just a straight wide leg like these are going to crease easy and I don't like buying things that crease easy because I don't like to iron but here we are size 18 not sure the length's going to be and I'm not sure they're actually going to be big enough but let's find out so here are the wide leg pants you can see the colour is really nice they're actually a little bit quite a bit big on the waist but there's no way I would have been able to go down at all um they're 
quite a bit big up here. Legs also fit fine. I could bend and stuff, but if I just tilt you down, you can see that they're actually just a little bit too short for me. I just tried them with a trainer, and unfortunately, they're just a little bit short. They feel lovely, and they're really nice and soft. So if you're into wide leg trousers, I would definitely pick these up if you're a bit smaller. Even if you're literally two inches smaller than me, these are going to work and sit on your trainers really nicely. They're really nice and soft. So it's a shame, really. And there is actually quite a lot of space. So I would say stick to your normal size. They fit. In, I don't think they're too see-through. They're quite a nice... Thing, but unfortunately they're just a little bit too short for me story of my life really it is but I would recommend these if you are any smaller than me a giant so it's not hard so guys that is the end of today's video I hope you guys really enjoyed you got some useful information from this or you're gonna go out and buy some of these pieces if you do please do let me know down in the comments I love talking to you guys down there let me know what you've been picking up if you found any other good pieces in your tesco as well also i will be trying to post this on tiktok i'm trying to do a little bit over there as well so if you don't follow me over there it's down in the description box i'd really appreciate you doing so if you are a tiktok fan i mean you fall into that tiktok hole and you're there for hours i feel you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time for more videos bye guys mm -hmm.